excellent job identifying the missing parts in the number bond. sight words with Miss Houston. When I see them, I can read them. I can identify sight words. I can use them in a sentence. I know how to write sight words. Some of them are tricky. You can't always sound them out. Some I recognize instantly. Some are not spelled how they sound. Sight words are essential. They help me read more fluently. Whether it's a flashcard book or homework, I can Skip counting. 
thing by twos to make it out of the cornfield. This is the number sequence challenge. Let me hear you say number sequence. Excellent. A number sequence is a list of numbers organized by a rule. We're going to put the numbers in this tree in order from one to 20, counting by ones. As we count, we're going to jump to shake the leaves off the tree. Let's start with the number one. One. What comes after one? Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yay! Amazing job putting these numbers in sequential order. You counted from one to 20 by ones. Syllable challenge. Syllables are smaller sounds that make up words. Can you say syllable? Outstanding. Syllables have to have a vowel. What do syllables have to have? A vowel. Let's count the syllables in these words. Put your hand under your chin like this, and every time your chin goes down and touches your hand, that is one syllable. Then we're going to clap the syllables. Pumpkin. Pum can. Pom, can. How many syllables does pumpkin have? Pom, can. Two. Pumpkin has two syllables. Ham. Ham. How many syllables does ham have? Ham. One. Ham has one syllable. Turkey. Turkey. How many syllables does turkey have? Turkey. Two. Turkey has two syllables. Corn. Corn. How many syllables does corn have? Corn. One. Corn has one syllable. Fork. Fork. How many syllables does fork have? One. Fork has one syllable. Great job! You did amazing counting the syllables in each word. Let's learn our short and long vowels with Miss Houston.
Short O says Short U says A at apple E at elephant I at igloo O a octopus U a umbrella Long A says A Long E says E Long I says I to do our fist like this. That will help us count and then we'll identify how many acorns are on the 10 frame. One. One. There is one acorn on the 10 frame. One, two, three. Three. There are three acorns on the 10 frame. One, two, three, four, five. Five. There are five acorns on the 10 frame. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. There are seven acorns on the ten frame. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. There are ten acorns on the ten frame. One, two, two. There are two acorns on the ten frame. One, two, three, four, four. There are four acorns on the ten frame. Excellent job! You did fantastic counting the acorns on the 10 frame. Greater than, less than, and equal to challenge. We're going to see two numbers. We need to identify whether the number is greater than, less than, or equal. If the number is greater than, I want you to take your hand like this because the greater than symbol opens the mouth to the bigger number. If it's less than, I want you to make your hand like this because the less than symbol faces away from the bigger number. If it's equal to, I want you to do your arms like this. This means the numbers are the same and have equal value. Let me hear you say greater than. Very good. Greater than is the bigger number. Let me hear you say less than. Less than is the smaller number. Let me hear you say equal to. Equal means both of the numbers are the same. Ten and ten. These numbers are the same, so they are equal. Eight and two. Eight is bigger than two, so we're going to say greater than one and seven. One is less than seven. So we're going to say less than five and five. Those numbers are the same. So they are equal three and nine. Three is less than nine. So we're going to say less than. 10 and 7. 10 is bigger than 7. So we're going to say greater than 4 and 5. 4 is less than 5. So we're going to say less than 2 and 2. Those numbers are the same. So we're going to say equal. Very good. You did fantastic identifying greater than, less than, and equal to numbers. Let's learn our letters and sounds with Miss Houston.
all of the challenges in the fall adventure. Now, Omna can be with her friends for the Friendsgiving picnic. She is so thankful and you are so smart. Look at all of the yummy foods. For this picnic, Omna and her friends wanted to come together to share things that they are thankful for. Some of our friends are thankful for family, friends, food, our home, our pets, nature, happiness, and peace. What are some things you're thankful for? I'm thankful for those things as well. And I'm thankful to have you as a friend. I had so much fun learning with you today. We learned all about number bonds, sight words, skip counting, number sequence, syllables, 10 frames, and greater than, less than, and equal to. I had an amazing time on our fall adventure. Thanks for learning with me. See you next time. Today we use